Let's see how the Yo. camera looks. Motherfuckers. Camera looks good. We're a lot closer this time. How about it? Alright, let me uh go down to the locker. And see how it looks. Hair in my face. Alright. It actually doesn't look bad. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good. That looks solid. I think. Do we got anybody? We're gonna roll with it. Yeah, tons of people hopping in right now. Camera's a lot closer this time. Yo. So, oh, I forgot that this is what. Let me see what it sounds like first. If I can. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Oh, oh shit. Told you, bro. Yo, it that's works. what I'm talking about. Can you slay for. Oh. <laughs> that was bad. Like, 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 it, that sounds it can so still, good. You're close enough to me where it can still pick you up, but if you really want to, like, sound clear, you gotta yeah. be like, you gotta go right up into it. So, like, if you have, like, a point you wanna get across, just slide it over. Okay. We, we sound real professional right now. Exactly. We got dual mics. Yo, it's mad close to you, though. Oh, yeah. You yeah, put yeah. it, like, in that. that. Center part In the of that way, it's like there we go. We'll just ASMR. All right, we're not doing that. <laughs> you see, you know how they be like, yeah. <laughs> they be like, all right, yo, dead ass, yo. All right, all right. What so, is it? Number seven. Never settle podcast number, number seven. Number seven is such a good number. That just sounds right. Like never settle seven. Yeah. Well, you like, like Kevin Durant, so yeah, that's like his number. we're a franchise or something. Number seven. We've done this That's seven serious. times already. Can you believe that? Seven times of just dropping absolute knowledge gems. Let me tell you. How was your day so far, bro? It was pretty good. It was good. Yeah. Well, actually, no. I've my sleep schedule has been so out of whack that, like, oh, no. you know. All right, so we go to the gym last night. Yeah. I get a mean ass workout in, but I go home. And I can't sleep until like two or three o'clock. And one of the, one of the good things that usually helps me sleep is like working out at night because it just makes my body just shut down that much quicker. Yeah. Um. But last night it was not happening, and I couldn't sleep. And I woke up today, and my body was still so exhausted because of lack of sleep and from the gym the night before. That I honestly felt sick. Yeah. I like, feel. I honestly felt like I was sick and that, like, I just did not want to get through the day. Um, I have a little bit of time in between my first and second class, so I just came home and I just took, like, a 20-minute power nap. Nah. Yeah, you, <laughs> I needed it, bro. You need those. I bro. needed it. I woke up from that and I felt even worse, but then, like, an hour in, I was like, all right, I'm good now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was having that issue, too, when I was working out. Um, especially working out late at night. Right. For some reason, it's like... I don't know. You, you, Watch like, your mouth, cause that's what. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. All right, let's roll. Let's what did I say? No, no, he's just saying that, like in general. Oh, I yeah. Like before we start, you know, going crazy. Facts. But last Clear time, the old throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it into the mic. Last time, um, our topics we we didn't really have much to talk about on Monday. Um. But today, we've got the topics. Today, we're talking about important stuff again. Straight we're back on track. I don't know what was going on Monday. Um, hold on, let me answer. Opinions on K-pop. Real quick. K-pop. It's I, trash. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't see why so many people are into it. I, I especially because the majority of people that listen to it don't actually understand what they're saying. So, like, if you don't Same understand... Same thing for anime, though. All right, yeah, but that that's a that's different. I don't watch anime either, but K-pop like um yeah, like if you can't understand what they're saying, what do you find appealing? That's my question. What do you find appealing about the music if you can't understand the words and like what they're actually saying? I, I think it's it's probably about the, the beat. sound, the beat, like <laughs> I don't know. No, cuz I do that for for some songs too cuz there's like a certain beat. Like there's a song that I heard at the gym that sounded good. I have no idea what's being said, but you just like the vibe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rhythm. I'm just, I'm sitting there in my car, <laughs> like what? 
<laughs> Arabic music. Opinion on Larry Bird. Larry Bird. I didn't see him play, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, obviously before our time, but we do live in New England, so everybody around us are Celtics fans. Yeah. So all we hear is how great he was, and like I've went back and watched his highlights. Right, he is he he was a good shooter. Like he looked like he could give anybody in today's NBA buckets. <sighs> I don't know but, why. Uh, Every time I think of old players, I think of their like dust coming off their yeah, jump I don't know. shot. I can't have a solid opinion on Larry Bird because I didn't yeah. watch him growing up. But from his highlights, he seemed legit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like when they, I think of old. Nobody's players, better than Donovan Mitchell. It's so. like, <laughs> like creaking. <laughs> like the elbow is just. <laughs> it needs oil. Like that's what I always think. The best player in the NBA is Donovan Mitchell, though, and nobody can compare. It's not even close. I think it's Kyrie Irving. It's, <laughs> it's That's a super biased take. I don't care. He's the best player in the NBA that's ever they, the NBA has ever seen. Spider. If you really think about it, right, Kyrie Irving's skill set, nobody else has. All right? Nobody else can shoot the three ball, shoot the mid-range, have <laughs> handles like that, and can finish around the rim. Donovan Mitchell. All on... on, on with that same speed, Donovan Mitchell. No, yes. he doesn't have Kyrie's it, handles or moves. It, the at only all. the only the thing he doesn't have is the quick handles. But he has a he decent shoot enough the three handle. as well as Kyrie. Yes, he can. He can't shoot the mid range on a dime. Has Kyrie dropped seven? Come more? on. <laughs> no, yeah. he hasn't. Yeah, that that shouldn't be the the the. <laughs> Devin Booker was <laughs> 70. That's different. He had no defense All because right. they already had won the game, the Celtics. And it's not 71, it's 70. All right, whatever. This is not an NBA podcast. So no, it's not. Let's move off the NBA. If y'all if y'all mess with the NBA, just drop who your favorite player is. Game to follow. Appreciate it. Um If uh yeah, so drop your favorite NBA player if you're watching. <laughs> If you really care about it that much, All right? Kyrie's the best player. Let's go with the topics. You want to go? Um, you have yours ready? Did you write yours down? Cause I didn't write mine down. Yeah, but I gotta roll over it real quick. Uh, it, that's fine. Yeah. This is the best podcast you will ever tune into. Let me just tell <laughs> is you that, that right now. It's not even a podcast, really. Yeah, it's we more, just talk it's, shit. It's, it's more of like a YouTube talk show. <laughs> yeah. It's more of like a YouTube talk show right now. Yeah, Everything we go live that's on in our head, we just spew out. It's more of a podcast now because we got the mic. But yeah, this sounds amazing. Let me just say that we're switching to ASMR. We're not <laughs> switching to ASMR. That's whack. Uh. Anyway. Thank you guys for tuning in. I got my topic, right? Here we go. We got a topic. Let me see. Hold up. We got a topic going. Holding it like it's the Holy Bible. There we go. This knowledge, Read your Bible, this folks. This knowledge I'm about to preach. <clears throat> Read your Bible. I found out the other day, hell is a bad place. You don't want to go there. Well, I didn't find that out the other day. I found that out a long time ago, but I re-watched the video. It's a crazy place. All right. My topic, Kanye song, follow is, God. Let me see this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no, no. That was it. <laughs> Don't. I gotta. I gotta. Before I say, I gotta like. Okay. Serious face. CEO. Um. Demeanor right here. There's an idea. What camera should Patrick I look at? The Bain. live or the? I look at here. All right. Don't live in the past. Right, and not for the obvious reasons that everybody always tells you. Well, you might have heard this already too, but I'm here to uh, give you my take on it. Don't live in the past because it stops you from, obviously it stops you from moving forward and growing because you know, you backtrack so much and you're so, you're so uh, focused on like what had happened that you're completely missing out on what's in front of you and the steps you need to take to move on from that and go into the future, right? I'm sure you've heard that before, it's kind of obvious, but um, going back to this, this is my take on it, right? So, I am looking at the live Aiden. <laughs> All right, what did I write down here? Mm, right, so it stops you from living in the current moment. And I was thinking about this um, on the way to my classes on the bus the other day, right? It, um, thinking too much into the past and like wanting to go back to live in the past, it creates 
uh, it almost creates a false standard for your the present moment, right? And how your life is currently going. You obviously the past is over, right? What happened happened. You can't recreate it. It's done, right? So time to move forward. You have new opportunity in front of you, a new life to live. You know, new everyday battles. You're just you focus on what's in front of you and you're moving forward, right? Um, by thinking too much into the past and wanting to recreate that so badly, it creates a false standard for how we're supposed to be living, right? So if you're so focused on, you know, wanting things to go back to the way they were, say you were um, in a certain situation with somebody or there was a time in your life where you felt a different way and you just want to go back and recreate that, right? Bringing that forward um, into the present, right? It completely blocks out what you currently have new in front of you, right? So obviously you're in the present to, you know, go forward with what you have in front of you and move forward and just do better things. The pa Like I said, the past is the past. Um, Well, kind of lost my train of thought. Yeah. Um, that's that's apparently what ashwagandha is good at, like helping. I didn't know that. I was... <laughs> Steroids and drugs. That's what we're resorting to now. No. But anyway. Supplements. My take on it was like, if you, um, I don't want to say related. Take a a certain situation, right? That you were. That you had back then in the past, right? You're thinking about it. You're like, you know what? That situation was so great. I would love to recreate it, right? When you start to look at what you have new in front of you in the present, um, you, you give the present moment the false standard of, it, of uh, the false standard of expecting it to be just like the past, right? We hold on to what we loved so much during past experiences that we want to bring it into the present moment and have it also be our future, right? When we come into the present moment and look to the future with the expe the expectations that they're going to be just like the past, like I said, it, se it sets us up for false expectations and you have these like standards in your head that are just not possible anymore because you know like i said that stuff is in the past what you have in front of you now is the present moment and like i said there's going to be new challenges new things to learn um you know new people come into your life like you can't you have to accept those things and go forward with go forward with that you don't want to hold on to the past and let it just overtake and cloud what you have currently in front of you um, and I know I've said that like a million a million times, but I'm trying to like get it across to how I was thinking about it in my head, like my point of view on it. Basically, like you can't with that false standard of you know wanting to create the past so badly. It basically just clouds the opportunity and the new people and everything you just have in front of you to go forward. I know you're reading comments because you're hearing it. <laughs> Why do I gotta do this all the time, bro? <laughs> I know you have a touch of the tism. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I'm bumping this thing. Are you good? That's my topic. Okay. Don't live in the past because the past is the past. It's done. Focus on the present moment. What you have in front of you. You have an entire new life ahead of you now, right? Don't think about the past. Focus on now and move forward, right? Because whatever is in front of you right now will benefit you the most if you just focus on it and move forward with it. Don't expect your current situation to be like the past that you valued so much. Let that be that. You know, if if there was a certain past situation that you loved that much, appreciate it. Appreciate that it happened, but the past is the past. Leave it there. Don't bring that expectation of you're going to get the same result in the present moment in your future because the present moment is different. It's it's a different thing that you're going to be going against and the same thing with the future. It's it's different from the past. So you got to you got to take it how it is and roll with it like that.
Right. I think that's the best that's I can. So facts. The best I can word it coming out of my brain. So ready? I actually needed to hear this because this is something I was dealing with, bro. I was I was there you dealing go. with. I was tell like what I was telling you. I was dealing with stuff in the past, and I'm and I'm constantly thinking, like, what if I did this? What if I did this? Right? Wish I did this back then. Mm. And what it's doing right now is me consistently living in the past is not helping me to move forward into a, any sort of better lifestyle or right. to better myself in any way because I'm constantly- You're stuck in the past way of thinking. Thinking about what I could have been doing, which is now causing me like any sort of stress and anxiety in the present moment. Um, these comments. <laughs> but like, seriously, like don't be living in the past like- yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> what do I do if I walked in on my dad cheating on my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you have the <laughs> Muy serious. Bro, three-fourths of Andrew. What does that even mean? I'm three-fourths of Andrew. Joseph Gomez. Is that Joey? Yeah, yeah, that's Joe. Joey. What's up, Joe? Um, but yeah. Handle these comments for us. <laughs> that That is facts. Um, I just wanted to build upon that because... If, if you live in the past, it's just gonna it's gonna uh, it's gonna s stunt your growth into future endeavors. You don't want to be stuck there because if you you're constantly thinking about the past, you're just gonna be stuck in the past. You're gonna want to recreate it. Yeah, on. you're gonna want to recreate it so badly that like that's what I that's what I've been thinking. That's that like like I said, it gives you this false standard on how your life should be in the current moment. Yeah. But the past is the past for a reason. You have something different in front of you right now. You can't you can't. Is important you can't go into the future um with the mindset that the past is going to repeat itself and right. that everything you currently have in front of you will end up just like it did back then in the past you can't go into the future with that mindset wait a minute who's that that's the girl i was commenting that does not add up i thought it was like an eighth grader whole oh. ain't no simping <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. She probably left. No, she didn't. I know she didn't. Hold on. Go back. Is she still there? Why <laughs> don't she's still there? <laughs> no. <laughs> she left, bro. I'm following her. I'm <laughs> Andrew simping for a viewer. Guys, we gotta snap him out of it. Nah, nah, I'm gonna. Once Maybe the live. She has the tism. One, one, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo. I don't even know what that is, honestly, if I'm being honest around <laughs> The tism? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Autism? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> I didn't nah, know. Like, you take that shit. She bad. We're gonna leave it at that. Anyway, it was 2023, guys. Someone asked her if she's good. <laughs> no, she's she's clearly not good, but she's so fine, I don't even know. We think she like, has the tism. It, <sighs> whatever. Anyway, as for my topic, right? I was, I was going throughout my day at work, and I came home, had to do some stuff, and I was thinking, I was like, what if in every little moment in life, Instead of looking at things so negatively, we swapped it, right? And I think this is truly going to um, propel your your mindset into the stratosphere, into another level that you didn't even know that you could reach, right? Mars. Damn near it, right? <laughs> so, ready? If we consistently, each and every day, made it an emphasis on... Everything that we do, we find the good in it. So say like, I gotta stop looking at the comments, but let's say, for example, we go outside. <laughs> we go outside, right? And we get in our cars like normal. And instead of being like, damn, it was cold, or damn, you know, um, I don't have a nice enough car to match up with other people, or damn, like, Today's gonna suck. Like you're, you're already sitting. Like these are pre, 
premeditated, thoughts. yeah, predetermined like thoughts that you already have, and you're saying them out loud into the air. This is another topic I wanted to talk about, and I'll probably go in, in depth in it in another day. But there, there is so much power into what you speak out. I, I've said this before. I definitely want to go in depth with that. But so when you're already That's saying nice. these things when you wake up, right? You're already ruining your day before you even know it. You don't even know it yet. And you're already just setting things out there in the world that are just bound to mess you up. So if you swapped those instead and you were like, yeah, this is going to be like you wake up. The world could be falling apart. There could be asteroids coming from the sky. I'm betting on it. Ending. The world is ending, bro. If you walk out that house and you say, today's going to be a good day. I, I'm, I'm, I'm setting it out right now. Today's going to be a good day. What that's going to do is going to swap your mindset. And if you want to be successful, right? If you truly want to be a part of the 1%, 1% man, 1% woman, it doesn't matter what your gender is. It always comes down to mindset first. Before you can do anything physically, right? It has to start in the mental. So, in order to, to be truly successful, you have to swap your mindset to think differently than 99% of people, right? <laughs> so, so remember that. If you wanna be a part of the one, 1%, you have to think like facts, the 1%. Facts, facts. You gotta go outside and you say, I'm gonna be successful. I'm gonna conquer this day. Today is gonna be a good day, right? That, that, is a, that is a very important step one. It, this goes for anything. It goes for if, you're, if you have a goal of something, whatever you wanna reach, any personal goals, any financial uh, career, anything like that. It boils down to mindset first. And then once you have the mindset, you can then now physically attack these things. She's back. Hey, Andrea. Andrea, follow me. <laughs> Let's talk. All right, so anyway. Um, it, it boils down to mindset. So, <laughs> why are you shaking your head? <laughs> you, bro. She said, wow. She said, wow. All right, so anyway. I'm back. Wow. Shut up. Andrew, you're a simp. Yes, he is. Shut up. Yes, he is. Anyway, it boils down to mindset. Um, truly to be the 1%, you have to have 1% mindset. Yeah. That's what, that's what it boils down to. So if you start your day off like that, start your day off speaking that, that 1% mind out into the world, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm going to be successful today, or I'm going to have success in this this moment or in this day for us as he ain't a bot I'm not a bot all right but anyway that that's gonna propel you to be very successful thanks so we need to start doing that about everything everything that we every little thing because that's what it boils down to like I say all the time you have to be good at a lot of things in order for your life to be good can I add on that a little bit yeah ready so a lot of times when you wake up and just tell yourself you're gonna do the things that you know will benefit you, um, but not they're the things that not everybody is gonna wanna go and do, that, you know, they're things that not a lot of people do, right? So if you have the mindset when you wake up, like, I know this is going to be good for me, but 99% of people are not gonna do it, I'm going to go and do it. Yeah, yeah. Right? You you have to be prepared to do what others don't. And uh, what others don't want to do. Um, I've been saying that, bro. Right, yeah. Remember how we I, keep I, on saying? I think I heard this from you, actually. Our, our like, um, collective one saying that we always say, right? And I think this is, like, the best saying. One of the best sayings ever. Mm -hmm. If there's something that 99% of people are doing, right? 99% of people are are going to this place or 99% of people are are listening to this this music 99% of people are going that direction right Do the we've been saying that more likely than not it's better to go the other way because this way it might be it might seem enticing at first but it's just like it, it's like it's like reading a bad book with a really good cover, if you think about it that way. <laughs> Facts. So they see like 
what's in front of them and they're like yeah that's good yeah let's do the it the moment they go that way and they dive deeper into that that path they finally realize it's oh that's that's actually bad if you go this way right it may look bad but you never know like what you're gonna find like what you're gonna find in there so i mean obviously this doesn't go for everything but right for the for the most part with what we've seen like in the world lately Sometimes it's best to go exactly. the other way. Just, just saying. I'm going to add on that. Um, <laughs> Stop reading the comments. <laughs> How does she know my I have an Andrew? Ex. Maddie. I have an ex named Andrew. How does she know my name? It's in the comments, my guy. No, it's not. <laughs> Is it not? No. Did Aiden not say your name? Yes, he did. When? Oh. I don't know. But anyway, they always tell you, right, that... Be yourself. It maybe wasn't the best for you. Don't be like... They always tell you, be yourself. Don't be like everybody else. Do your own thing. Go a different way, right? It's the same thing for self-improvement, right? 99% of people are all going to do the same thing. And 9 times out of 10, it's not good. It's bad for them, right? So be that 1%. Do something different than everybody else. Because 10 times out of 10, I guarantee you... You're doing the right thing, and you're going to be better off than that 99% of people. You're going to go farther. On